we've started finding averages using the mean average. So the example we did in class, we built five towers. Here the example is three towers. And if we wanted to find the average height of these towers, we would need to calculate, one way would be to calculate the mean average. So the first tower has a height of four plus the second tower plus the third tower, which is a height of six. So four plus two plus six. Uh, for me, I do four plus six is 10 plus two is 12. Well, I have three towers, so I'm gonna take 12 divided by three and that equals four. And like we did in class, if you were to draw this as a graph and have tower one, two, and three, and have the heights one, two, three, and four, if we were to draw the average height on there, this would represent the average height and you would see a few towers above and below showing that some not all of our data will be exactly the same as that some a bit some above and then we move the blocks around to show that if we rearrange them that they would all have a height of four and one group showed us that it doesn't always end up in a whole number and we could have decimals but because we were working with blocks we couldn't break them into 4.75 and have a little bit over each one so it won't always be whole numbers we are working with decimals but average shows us that out of all the data combined this is the about piece that they're similar and some will be above and some will be below so our mean average we're going to take the sum of all the data and then we're going to divide by how many numbers that we're using. If we want the median, the median average is the middle of all the data. So we have to arrange our data from smallest, from smallest to largest. And in this case, we only have three pieces of data. So a two, two, four, and six. And our middle number is four. So our median is four. Now, some of you were already asking, what if we have an even amount of data? So if we had two, four, say 7 and 12. Well, right now there's two pieces in the middle, but we still need to find what's the middle of those two numbers. So when they're small like this, we can picture them on a number line. And we would have 4, 5, 6, 7. And where would the middle location be of these two? Well, that would be right in between there, so 5.5. But what happens when we have really large numbers or if these two numbers are very far apart, if they have a, a larger range, we can go four plus seven is 11. And we're working with two numbers, so we're gonna divide them in half to find the middle. And that gives us 5.5 as well. And lastly, our mode is the most repeated number. So in our original set of 246, there was no mode. If the heights of all our towers were, let's say we had a 2, 4, 4, 6, and 7, the most repeated, the mode average, would be the height of 4. You would only really want to use mode if majority of your numbers were repeated. Otherwise, it's not an accurate representation of the data. If you had this, it's a six. If 
that was your set of data, you would have two modes, four, the height of four and the height of six would be both our modes. 